What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Hive Express YouTube channel. I'm your host, Hive. And today, what are we doing? I got a haul, and maybe I'll catch you guys up on some of my uh, some of my dealings at the at the thrift. Um, yeah, so what y'all want to start with the haul? Let's start with the haul. Maybe we'll chat a little bit at the end. Or oh, I'll just go through some stuff as I as I go through. How about that? All right, first item up for bed. So this bag I got today, um, Vinnie Vines, um, I think this is girls. I got two of them though. Two of them new with tag, and they got 69 on the price tag. Got these out on the stroll today. I don't know what it is, man. It's like um, people are just start. Everybody is just starting to talk to me in the thrift. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Like today, this is a vintage. Um, this is a vintage Duke, Duke Blue Devil sweatshirt. What happened today? It's just one thrift that's been. It's been uh, a lot going on there lately. Um, what happened today? Oh, so I went, I was at the thrift today and this lady walked up to me. She was like, um, I've been in one of your whatnot shows. I said, huh? She was like, yeah, I was, I was in one of your whatnot shows uh, a few weeks ago. I was like, when I did the little lemon show, she was like, yes, yes. She said, I was in that show. I was like, wow. So I ended up talking to her for like 10, 15 minutes. Um, but that's crazy. I just ran into somebody that um, has seen one of my whatnot shows. Of course, she was like, when are you going to do another one? I said, I don't know. Beat it. I'm in here getting this eBay, um, this eBay stuff. But she was a big spender. She was like, she spent, she spent a thousand bucks on whatnot in one day. So she, I think she sells. I think she is a reseller, but not on whatnot. Um, but she's a spender on whatnot. She's addicted to it. Anyway, so that was today. What else happened today? It seemed like a couple of things. There's one, there's another guy, just, never seen a guy, just walked up to me and was like, hey man, I think I seen you at Food Line. <laughs> I was like, man. I was like, yeah, I've been known to go to a food line or two in my day. And he and he just walked off. I'm like, what in the world is wrong? What's going on? He saw me at food line. What is what does that gotta do with anything? Ralph Lauren. Same, this was the same thrift. Same thrift, y'all. What <sighs> oh, we got here? Free people. That's a nice shirt. So, same thrift today. So the manager, she came and talked to me today. Like everybody was talking to me today. The manager came up to me and was like, um, I want to apologize for uh, what happened the last time you was here. We're talking about, um, y'all see my last video when I had the drama at the thrift. <clears throat> She's like, I want to apologize apologize to you um for you know how that went down so like uh if anybody else ever um like talks to you like that or whatever just come and get me just come get me basically and i was like nah it was cool it wasn't i mean you know i ain't it wasn't that big of a deal basically and she was like okay and, but then she went and proceeded to tell me that they like Again, go back and look at my other video. It's called uh, Drama at the Thrift. So apparently, the lady that I was discussing before, she was stealing from the uh, Goodwill. <clears throat> and I was wondering, like, what is it with her with all of these suitcases? Because um, she was always talking about suitcases when I saw her. Anyway, um, so... She was stealing. She was, I guess she was buying suitcases, but she would have stuff in the suitcases. 
So they called her and confronted her. Um, but I'm like, so she was she was doing that, and y'all called her, and she's still here. Like, what? Why is she even still here? But anyway, <clears throat> she was like, yeah, whatever, whatever. She just wanted to apologize, and uh, I told her it was fine though. But so apparently that lady got some stuff going on with her, additional stuff, <clears throat> because I did see her. So I went. I went two days later. So that must have once been Tuesday and then Thursday. She was in there again. And if you go back to my shorts, I did a I did a short saying, hey, she's in here, y'all. I just came back to the thrift. And that's the day I tried to go low key, but everybody said that my outfit was not low key. Anyway, I did all of that and ended up seeing her. She was in there. And she saw me. I was at the counter again. She walked up to me. I can't remember what she said. Something about some pants or something. But that was it. And then she went on about her business. But how about later on, I'm still shopping. Oh, did I show y'all this? All right. Nike. Nike hoodie. I just like the print on that. <clears throat> anyway, I'm in there shopping. Hold on. I got to get my coffee. Y'all. <clears throat> So I'm continuing to shop. I'm over in the men's section, which is right behind, right beside the door to go to the back. How about I see her just boom, go into the back. I'm like, what the hell? I ain't, I was like, I don't know how she got that access, but I need to, I need to, um, I need to, um, I need to figure out how I can get that going on. But see, I am going to segue. When I talk to the manager again, I'm going to be like, I saw that lady uh, went into the back. Um, how how can I get back there? And then I'll let y'all know how that goes. Anyway, she went to the back of the store. I don't know what was going on. I continued to shop. I continued to shop, right? And, um... I don't know, a little while later, I saw her up at the front. I was getting ready to check out. And she, they were, the manager was there, and she was there at the front door. Apparently, the manager was asking her to leave, and she was cussing and fussing and saying somebody was treating her wrong. Um, now, that I, I, I did record it. I had to record it, right? I recorded it, but I was going to make the video for YouTube, but I was like, nah. Let me not do that. I ain't, I ain't, I don't want to record people and then put them on, put them online. But I did record it and she did the same thing she was doing that first day. So, but how do you steal from a place, get caught, hang out there a couple of hours after the fact and then come back again two days later? Like something, something, something's going on with that lady. Anyway, that was it for today. Well, that day. So I found these two Nike jackets. These guys weren't even in the jacket section. So be sure to check all areas, random little areas. Because people will go look at stuff in a little corner and then they'll leave it. Because they don't fit them or whatever. But I found both of these like they were not where they were supposed to be. Same with, uh, same with, uh, if, if you don't sell men's, Still, um, still check the men's section for women's because it's always, it's always stuff in there. Otherwise you just, you just relying on how to, how the cashier feels when she put it up. She don't know if it's men's or women's. She do her best though. So I found these three Nikes at the same spot. But yeah, so there's a food line guy that's crazy. Um, the crazy, uh, suitcase, we'll call her suitcase lady from now on. I got a, I, this is where I went, y'all, 49ers, UNC Charlotte, class of 97. Now you have Nike hat. Saints, 
Saints hat. Kind of new. Oh, and a kid's Nike hat. I'm going to get that to my kid. He want to learn how to play golf now, so. Yeah, I'll say that for little G. I'll say that one. What else we got? Um, Carolina, Nike, dry fit. This is my basketball squad. Tar Heels, baby. This is the XL. Super clean. I wish it was a large. Nike dry fit. Nylon. We got an Athleta jacket. Actually, I met another lady in the thrift today. Uh, she's from Liberia. She buys, um, she basically buys clothes here and ships them back to Liberia, which I, which I think is pretty cool. Something I always wanted to get into. Tore it, new attached, little uh, cardigan duster. I've been finding some great stuff, y'all. I really have. Look at this Ugg, little Ugg beanie, 100% cashmere. Maybe I'll try to try to send that to um, Vortex. Oh, this was a cool piece, vintage. Cowboys, 1995. I found a few vintage pieces in the past uh, few days, single stitch. What is this? What is this? Eileen Fisher? Yep. Eileen Fisher. Eileen. Eileen. Eileen Fisher Black sells super fast. Eileen Fisher Black size extra large sells super, super, super fast. Women's um, Vinnie Vines vest. Vinnie Vines vest. That's a tongue twister. We got. I don't buy a lot of Under Armour, but this was a nice sweatshirt. Um, great condition, so I picked it up. It's got pockets. XL, decent size. Eddie Bauer, I don't really get that any much that much no more, but this was a uh, goose down, so I went ahead and picked it up. I think I paid six six ninety nine for the jackets. There's another hat. Texans. I've been listening to hats again recently, y'all. So I do like three, like three hats a day now. Tony Romo. Jersey. We got three more bags, John. We got what we got. No face shorts. Some lady at the thrift gave me these. People are always giving me stuff at the thrift. Nike shorts. Actually, she gave me those and a pair of prana pants, but they had a stain on them, so I put them back. Men's uh, polo golf sweater. Can't go wrong with certain pieces of polo. These are pill crow. Pilco jeans. We got, I think this is Marilyn. So I got two underarm pieces, under armor. Marilyn Terrapins hoodie. All this stuff is super clean, you know. 
Super clean, super clean. You got a Bowden, Bowden dress. It's the floral detail down there. Look at the big, the big petals. I think that's like a size 12. I stopped picking up Torrid too, but I saw a dress, so I just, I don't know what it is about dresses. I've been picking up a lot lately. So I threw Torrid back in the mix. We got a uh, Jamie Laughlin top. I did have a, uh, my lady brought me some clothes last, um, was it last week? Yeah, this past Sunday or Saturday, but I didn't have time to make no video. I had to go ahead and start processing them. So y'all missed those. Another Nike golf jacket. I think it's Nike golf. Yeah. She brought me a ton of Lululemon. Maybe I'll show y'all a little bit. Actually, I had a Define jacket she brought me. I already sold it. I sold it for like 60 bucks, I think, on eBay. It sold in one day. Athleta jacket. I never find hats, but this, like, this past week, I've been finding a ton of hats. West Virginia. New York, Huskies, and my hat, my hat connect been hitting me up too. Like, hey, when you wanna do your next order? And as soon as he called me, I started finding hats everywhere. So I don't know if that's a sign or not. I can find enough of my own hats. I need to continue with him. Polo Ralph Lauren. I almost passed this up until I saw um, they had the little shoulder pads on it. I think that gives it a little more, a little more oomph. Uh, Robert Graham. What size is it? 2XL. Robert Graham. Little, um, I never even seen the quarters of rubber ground. All of I've, all I've ever seen is button ups. We the free. Man, I can't wait to list this stuff, y'all. It'd be. And I be forgetting I got it because some of this stuff is from two or three days ago. I be forgetting I got it. Lily Pulitzer. Eileen Fisher. This is an XL. I wish it was black. I wish it was all black. It was sale in one day. Peter Millar. Golf vest, I mean golf jacket for ladies. Whew, my arm's tired, y'all. Free people? May well. May well, it's an XL. I almost passed on it, but it was an XL. So I scooped it up. All right, a couple more pieces in this, and then I got one more bag. These are Athleta. Little Capri pants. This is a vintage um, Michigan Wolverines. It's not a t-shirt. It's not a jersey. It's somewhere in between. There's the tag. Travis Matthews, little T.
have one like a black coated. I think that's what they call it, coated. Basic Carhartt Pocket T. One more bag, one more bag. Oh. Another hat. Oh, this was from today. Stanley Cup Champions 2018. All right, this is what I found today. 511 Tactical. Champion. Kind of like the knockoff Nike. Of what I got on. We got more 511. So I posted, I posted uh, a couple of pair of these like a week ago, and somebody bought both of them already. These are women's. No, these are men's. But I sold two pair of women's right away. That brand sells great. These are a pair of frame joggers. I feel like they, they're going to have a mark on them somewhere. I didn't see nothing at the thrift, but they are white, so there's a 70% chance there's a stain on them. And that's after I looked at it. Large Fabletics jacket. This is Eileen Fisher. Extra small. That's a big extra small. Somebody gonna order this and then send it back and say, "Oh, I, I wear an extra small. That 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 that's too big. I got another Alan Fisher that's an extra small, and it's that one is bigger than this one. I know, man. Free returns up to sixty days." I don't need to hear all your, uh, I don't need to hear all that. Um, this is Mark Jacobs, I think. But look, it was at The Real, The Real. I think The Real, The Real is going to be out of business soon, if they're not already. Due to returns. How, what a great segue. And I just pulled the tag, I just pulled the name off. I think they are not doing too uh, too good because of the returns are so high at the real to real. This is a Jordan. I probably should have looked this up. I don't. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta make sure it's is official. I didn't look it up though. I just got it. Um, it looked legit, but I gotta do some research on it to make sure. However, this. I know it's legit. Hornets. Y'all know I'm here in the QC representing the Hornets. Look at the patch. On the starter. Starter tag. I might keep this one for myself. Just the way around the city. All right, a couple more pieces and we'll be out. Another Eileen Fisher. So how do y'all think this stacks up to uh, to the drops I be getting? Let me know. Can I hang with my drop lady or is she killing me? If you're not sure what I'm talking about, look back at my previous videos and you'll see some uh, something called the drop. That's where my lady brings me a bunch of clothes every couple of weeks. She bring me nothing but fire. But let me know how I stack up with my lady, y'all. And be honest. Put it in the comments. REI. I just got these because they were convertible. So that's an extra keyword. And I can get 20, 25 bucks for them. The drop. These are money exchange. 
a little pants for ladies. I got me a nice little, um, that's only still only like two days, two and a half days worth of clothes. And I gotta be right out, back, right back on the stroll. These are Mountain Hardware. Yeah, Mountain Hardware. So that is it, guys. I don't know how many it was. I think it was four stores. Definitely four stores. Um, but yeah, that's it. Woo. Hit that subscribe button down here. Hit that like button if you like this kind of content. Um, leave me a comment. How do I stack up to my drop lady? And are these your brands? What do you think about these brands? Do you sell them? Can you not sell them? Did you used to sell them? And well, how you feel about the real, the real? All right, that's it for today. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I appreciate it.